Hey everyone, it's Bryson from Pillowhead Games here, and welcome to another devlog for the Zero Dome. It's been quite a while since I did one of these, about mm, four months, I think. Uh, but quite a lot has changed since then. So the last devlog I did, I asked for some testers, and I got some pretty good feedback, so thank you to everyone who helped test out the game. I have made quite a lot of changes to the game based on that feedback. Changes to how the game plays, made it a bit more, uh, tightened up the mechanics a bit so they're a bit more fun. And well, I'll walk you through what, I'm, what I've changed in just a second. But I also wanted to say that I now have a Discord server for Pillowhead Games. So, nice little Discord server for us to chat about uh, VR in general, VR games, all that kind of fun stuff. And I'm going to be running some more tests, some more feedback tests for the Zero Dome through that Discord server. I'll put a link to the Discord server down below, so if you jump on there, say hi, introduce yourself, I'll get a key sent to you through there ASAP, and then, uh, yeah, you can just leave any feedback you have in the Discord server. Even if, you're, even if you're a developer yourself and you want to ask questions about, hey, how do I do this cool thing, or how do I do that? Anything. Just hop on there, anything VR, we can chat about it, uh, have a pretty good time, have some fun, and hopefully we can make the Zero Dome a pretty awesome game out of it. So if you want to be involved in that, link is in the description below and I will get a key sent to you as soon as possible and I'm looking forward to all of your feedback. Now, onto the game itself. So it's been quite a while since I last did a devlog. There have been quite a lot of changes that have happened since then based on earlier feedback that I got. So I'll start by covering some of them then we'll get into the game itself. But the first big one is that the items are now on holsters. So before it was, uh, you'd hold down the touchpad, a wheel would show up You'd select items like that, kind of like Space Pirate Trainer. But I decided to go with a, uh, a more Robo Recall style, where there's guns on your holsters and your sides. You can shoot them, drop them with the grip buttons, they'll return to your holsters, and that's how you reload them as well. So now you've got pistols on the side, you've got your build tool right on your chest, and on your back are where your machine guns are. So, you shoot them, drop them, when you pick them up they'll reload and consume energy. Like that. So that's the items worked out. I do need to add some options for this holster itself. Right now it's kind of like on your sides, kind of like side holsters, but I do want to have the option for you to be able to change the height and also the distance uh, they are away from you because it's a bit awkward at times and what works for one person isn't going to work for someone else. So I want to have an option to be able to adjust the holsters. But that is the items updated. Let's jump into the game itself. And I will talk about one of the other things that I've added, which is oxygen. So there is now oxygen in this game. So it's this little bar down here on the, uh, on the bottom right. So what oxygen is, is that when you're far, far away from a, um, a platform or any sort of building, you'll lose oxygen. So it's pre pretty much to encourage you to stay close to your buildings. Because previously what people were doing is that they would just fly around using the jets only. And uh, that's kind of not how it's supposed to be played. And they would find it way too easy, just be able to fly around everywhere. So now there's oxygen, it'll keep you close to your buildings. So you have to build to get around. So that's the first big change, or second big change after the holsters. Let's uh, jump on out here and I'll show you some of the other changes. So... We have a new enemy type, which is a slightly easier type. I've rebalanced the enemies. There's this guy here who has uh, two guns, whereas the previous enemy type had four. So these guys are about as easy as the previous ones were. The other guys have gotten a buff in health. But uh, yeah, I went through and reworked my enemy classes, so they're a lot more extendable now, meaning it shouldn't be too complicated for me to add more enemy types in the future. I've also changed the way in which enemies spawn, so let me just uh, get rid of these guys. Previously it used to be that enemies would spawn in every 30 seconds or so, just like constantly every 30 seconds. Now we've gone with a more traditional wave based style, so once you shoot down all the enemies in a wave, that's when the spawner timer will start for the next round, the next wave, which is uh, what we got here. So I find that's a lot more manageable, a lot more fun. You don't end up with like tons of AI crowding the space. So it does change up the pacing of how the game plays, gives you a bit more breathing time to be able to build. 
and also make sure things don't get too crazy. All right, the other thing that I've added, which you might have already seen the video of, is I've added some heads up display shake. So whenever I get hit by any of these, there you go, you'll notice their heads up display shaking. I'm using that as a sort of alternative to camera shake because you know, camera shake is not gonna look good at all in VR. So I've got the HUD, HUD shake to sort of give that same emphasis without actually making people feel sick. So I've also reworked how scoring works. It used to be that you had to get inside of the zone over there, and when you're inside of it, that's when you get points. Kind of like a King of the Hill type situation. Now, the way it works is that you get points from shooting the enemies down, and that's used to restore your energy. I also used to have it that energy was used for everything, building, ammo, a shield as well. Now it's just for ammo and a shield, and metal is what you use for building. So metal you get from shooting down enemies. And then with that, you can use that to build. I'm probably not gonna be able to get over there, but we might as well try, see how far we can get. Okay, no, nowhere near. All right. But yeah, I feel as though this uh, helps make the game a little bit uh, better to play. Instead of just having the one resource for everything, it was really hard to balance that out and it didn't feel that fun. So now that I got a little bit more resource management, the extra resources, I am finding it a lot more fun to play. There we go, here's some of the original enemy types. Now these guys are like really beefy tank type characters. But yeah, changing the enemies to the more wave-based style has uh, helped change the pacing means you can play a little bit more defensive now. Previously, it was just a mad rush to get inside of the, uh, the bubble to get points. But now, it is actually beneficial to build yourself little defensive structures to hide behind. Kind of like Fortnite, that, that sort of style. Right now, the uh, structures do have an unlimited amount of health, so if they get shot, they won't get damaged, but I do want to change that as well. So... Not only will you be building structures, you'll have to repair them, rebuild them if they take too much damage. I think that would be a really cool addition to have. I also want to add in things like um, buildable turrets you can build around the area as well to help defend, how to help defend yourself. All right, here we go. Let's uh, restore some of our energy. So yeah, so this blue line here is your oxygen tether, which is what I was mentioning earlier. As long as, as long as that tether is there, you're connected to oxygen. As soon as you fly too far away, your oxygen will start draining. And then eventually your health will start draining too. And so the last thing that I've added is a game over screen. Everything goes black and white, game over, flashes in your face, and uh, you can see your score down below. While you're in the game over screen, you can't actually use your hands or interact with anything. But uh, yeah, once you're here, hit the menu button, you go straight back to the main menu, and you can start by playing it again. It's so a leaderboard, which I've got to reset now that I've reworked all the mechanics. These are still scores from the old scoring system. So I've got to rework those. Uh, there might even be some bugs where your score is slightly lower than what you've actually gotten. That needs to be fixed as well. And yeah, add the, add the holsters, add the health to the platforms. And then from there, I'm going to start working on more enemy types, more gun types. And sometime pretty soon, going to launch on Steam Early Access. Got to figure out when. I haven't got a release date set just yet, but uh, I do want it to be very soon. So the sooner I can get this out to everyone, the better. But yeah, if you want to help test it out, jump on the Discord server. I'll be looking for feedback on things like the difficulty of the game. Uh, I'm not sure if I've made it too hard or not. That's not always the hard part of developing a game. You spend 10 months working on a game and, well, you can't really tell if 
you've just gotten really good at it or if it's too hard. Also looking for feedback on the new mechanics, how they feel, how fun the game is to play itself and any suggestions for like options or any other mechanics you think that would be cool i'd be keen to hear those as well so jump on over to the discord link is below like i said earlier uh say hi introduce yourself and i will get a key sent to you asap anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video this updated look at the game hopefully see you in the discord and i'll see you all later